Right, so it's Dave the Rave, Roving the Rock. Uh, here we go, there's Dave the Rave, Roving the Rock. Mm. And go Gordon go Gopher. For going for it. Going for it. That's <laughs> correct, okay. And we're in um, my rubbishy car uh, at the very start of the Macri Moor Road, which goes from the String Road across to Macri, and it's a shortcut. And the reason that we're doing that is because we've decided we just can't be bothered running up a hill. So we're starting to think of somewhere kind of not too hilly to run today. Well, actually, no, it was because the wind was quite wind strong. strong. Uh, it wasn't because I didn't want to run up a hill. Just I thought, it's quite windy, so let's keep it pretty low level. Well, I didn't want to so hill. So you didn't, you know, didn't oh, quite... I'm feeling... <laughs> you, you kind of read differently into... Oh, yeah. Let's keep, not go too high, days. Oh, yes, that's right. Well, everywhere we go is pretty much high, isn't it? It's hills. Well, it's as soon not as you get off the shore. High today. It's not going to be too I'm, hi I'm happy about that. I fancy it. And it's a trip. So, the place we're going, and we could leave it a surprise till we get there. Okay. But anyway, so that's why we're on the Macri Moor Road. We're going to a surprise location, which will be a loop, a difficult to find, and also reasonably flat. Not too challenging, which I'm happy about. Well, I'll call it pretty undulating. Undulating, that's better, but not mountainous. Not mountainous, but undulating. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yes. And it will be testing, because we'll do about eight miles. And it might be a surprise to most people, but to us, there's not a lot that's a surprise anymore. No. No. But actually, what we're going to do, I've never done that before. Like this that. is good. That's so good. that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, it's quite windy. The boat's on alert. Um, I sort of know it's not cancelled, but it's. Well, we're saying that in Brodick, it was really quite. Yeah. Bounce on alert. You can see the road rising. to Limblash is a nightmare because of tar gate. Yeah, I was five minutes late um, arriving. I yeah. had to had to get I, I stuck in a convoy thing. Limblash is probably mental because of the family show. So yes, best well, I went to through Limblash. Yeah, yeah. Best to be nowhere near those. But one thing villages. I would say, this it was <laughs> raining this morning, but this is the first time in my living memory. I can remember the farmer's show not being a deluge of rain. It's been so many years in a row. Right. It, it always, always rains massively on the farmer's show. Like it's cursed, you know. Someone has decided that the farmer's show always is in a field and needs to be a field that's that's like Glastonbury. Cogfest, yep. Cog, Cogfest. So today, we've actually got the sun's sun. coming out. Great. Um, so that's quite good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive I'll start the car, I'll put my seatbelt on, and um, we'll just chat about what things have been happening while I'm driving. And I won't be breaking any rules, right, there's no, nothing coming. So there we go, in my wee, in my wee hatchback. So, uh, Gordon, the last time we went running was only about, I don't know, a week and a half ago or something. Mm -hmm. Where did we go then? Uh, we did the... Um, Loch, Loch and Knock and Loch and Loch. That's right. See, well done. That's what we did. We went. That was a pretty crazy path we were on there. Yep. Fly fest. Okay. This is more of a recognised path that anybody <laughs> can walk or run on. So this is good today. Hopefully we're quiet because yeah. everyone's over on Lash. Um, and yes, I've done the Caldon and race at that point. That's right. Yeah. Um, there is another race coming up this weekend. Yeah. Um, I haven't. Seen seen it advertised, but I've heard there's a race, a 10k race going round Glen Cloy from the Ukraine, right up top of Brodick, the last hill back down again. I think it was in the banner. It was in the banner, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, so are you going to do that? No. No. I think I'm not going to either, to be honest. I'm away. All oh, right. The Re reason I'm away is because, I don't know if you know this, but the World uh, Cycling Champs are in Glasgow this year for oh, yeah. about two weeks. Right. So I'm going over on Saturday to watch the Elite Men's Road Race in Glasgow on Canterbury. Sunday. Right. So I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be, and that's right, they're going to do a number of laps, aren't they? Of, of, of um, past you. Four, ten laps of Glasgow. Yeah. Avoiding, um, you know, the, uh, <laughs> what's going to say? The, the worst areas? Avoiding, you know, I can't say the that. rough areas? Know. Well, probably. Okay. In case they get the tyres slashed or yeah, well, do somebody that. puts nails or tacks <laughs> on the road. <laughs> steals the bike. Thinks it's funny. Pushes them off the bike and yes. steals it. Like they used to do when I was in Glasgow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They'd try and t they'd, what they would do, they would throw a stick in your wheel. I'll put the wheel up. I'll put the wheel up. 
Yeah, you know, that's the. You would cycle along and then. Shisk in the valley. People would charge towards you and throw a stick in your wheel so it would get you off the bike and then they would nick it. My friend actually got knocked out completely by, by people trying to nick her bikes. He got knocked out cold. Like completely. That's right. the way Glasgow was when I was in yeah. it. Hopefully um, there's none of that on Sunday. No, no. But it's lasting the whole, well, two weeks. There's um, races in Stirling, uh, races in Edinburgh, Glasgow, races in mountain biking in Glen Tress, um, downhill mountain biking in Fort William. Right. So it's actually all over Scotland. Look at that. I said, you know what? It's worth stopping just to take that in. Just for a second. One second. That is stunning. My goodness, and that's the um, Chiskin Valley. It is sunny, though it's not really shining on the camera, is it? See all the way to the sea. Yeah. Chiskin Blackwater Foot. Quite dark. It's a cloudy, sunny day. There is blue sky. There is blue sky. That is amazing. And, and you can see Kintyre. Kintyre over that way, which we're travelling towards. Um, so yeah, so uh, so that's something to look forward to. Yes, get away from Aaron when it's well, because um, as you've already mentioned, fifth is it fifth? Fifth of August is one of the busiest days in Broadway. The Highland Games is coming up on Saturday. Today was the farmers' show. It's a big week for Aaron. Mm -hmm. um, I see there's a Kayleigh in Lochranz on Friday. There's a lot of things on, um, but the Highland Games is the, probably the biggest thing of the whole year. And honestly, it's frightening for me. I'm not using the word loosely. I actually really mean it. Working at the pier with the possibility of disruption, people have not, and that number, and so a lot of them being drunk, um, I, without labouring the point, is something that fills me with more than just dread. I actually fear, fear for myself. To be honest. Hopefully, everyone will get back uh, safely. Um, that's why I didn't film it last year on, on, the, on the BBC crew were there because. You just didn't want to see what was going on. <laughs> it didn't matter what was going on. It was really bad. So, and that was when they all got away. So, uh, anyway, I'll be glad when that day's out of the way. Apart from that, it will be a wonderful day for people. And uh, I can see why everyone wants to go. From my point of view, um, it's a bit frightening. So, we'll get that out of the way. And then I'm off on holiday for a couple of weeks after that. Again? Yeah, I've got more holidays coming up. I think I can like tell. Come in, Dave. We get good holidays for well, well, that's the normal holidays, I think. You get your, your kind of standard holidays and your bank holidays. Um, but yes, I've got, I, I, if I can take it at this time of year, I will, so I do. Um, I'll let this band pass. There we go. Um, so, my question for today, I haven't got any script here, but there was one thing I was going to ask you. So, you and I have been in Iron, well, okay, I've been in Iron since 1984. How long have you been on Iron Gordon? Uh, 1972. 72! So, 51 years, for more than half a century you've been on Iron. Uh, 51 years? Yeah, that's right. Just over half a century of change you've seen personally. Um, so, well, two things about that. First thing, well, we both feel a part of this place and it's got good things and bad things like every place has. You feel part of it, you feel privileged to be here. It's for me, still my favourite place anywhere. Right? I, I go on holiday places. I don't see anything as nice as this. But at the same time, it kind of almost—it's a bit frightening thinking, well, you're just here, 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 and then that's it, and you never go anywhere else. And we've seen everything here so many times, so it would be nice to have a change. And it's tempting to go somewhere else. It is. So the question is for you. If I'm not going to ask you if you're going to go somewhere else, <laughs> but I'm assuming you were going to go somewhere else. Would you go somewhere busier or quieter, more remote or less isolated? That's the question. And I can answer it if you want to think about it. No, I've, I've thought about this before. Okay. I mean, obviously, as I say, with Aaron, I'm the same as you. I, I do feel privileged to live here and I get so much out of Aaron that I don't think I would get anywhere else. Yeah. And. I have thought where would I want to be if I wasn't with Aaron and the only kind of place I really come up with is um, somewhere like Spain. So warmer. Okay. Warmer. But very warm just now, my goodness. Yeah, it's very warm but oh. just 
I do. I've never been to mainland Spain, funny enough, but yeah. I've been to the Canary Islands, and right. I, I just I find the I like the culture. I really like it. Obviously, yeah. there's the weather. Um, I love the language. Yeah. Um, because I've thought, would I go anywhere else in Scotland? But as you say, I've been around Scotland, and I've never seen anywhere as nice as Aaron. Um, and would I go to England? Uh, the straight answer to that is no. No. <laughs> so no. I've well, thought, you know that's what, what I've, I've thought about it, and I thought England. I would move abroad. We had this one conversation earlier. My, my sister was cycling the length of Britain, and there's nowhere to camp because there's yes. no yep. right of uh, access. You, you can't. Freedom to roam. The right, can I say, the right to roam. They don't have it in England. No. You can only go on land that's public, and so 90% of the land. Is cut off. You can't go on it. I'd hate that. I, I love Scotland for that. Yep. You can go anywhere at all, as long as you don't damage it. Leave it as you found it. All that kind of stuff. What's that? What's Calgary? Bad noise. Well, so this is a Macri Golf Course. Okay. I don't think you see any flags. Where is it? Where is the Calgary from the other car? Yes, yeah, my the other car. car. <laughs> Thinking about wasn't, my car was falling wasn't off. Wasn't something falling off your car, <laughs> Dave? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's been a bit smell of burning rubber a couple of times. It was. <laughs> I'm on edge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm for it. There's an old car. Sorry, yes, there's one in the here. window. It's it's well. roasting it. Yeah, some flags. Got okay, so you would go to somewhere like Spain. And me. that's what I think. Uh, yeah, that's obviously it would be a, a bit of a dream, and obviously there's a lot involved in that. But I have thought about it, and I can't think. You know, if you went up north, you're getting isolated again. I go um, north. That's my yeah, answer. I wouldn't I go, go to Central or Bell. Like that. Harris, um, Harris yeah, but that's very remote. Yes, I fancy it. See, so, you know, it's too busy. I like the fact that on Aaron, you're, you're away from that busyness, but you can nip over to somewhere like a gig or a concert or a, you know, like I'm going to quite quickly. Whereas if you're up north, I just love a landscape, mate. It's, I know everything I want is in the land. But you've got Aaron's got that. It has got that, but it hasn't. But I've seen it <laughs> a lot of times. I so, know. And I can't, I'd almost like to go somewhere like for a year. And then come back. Um, no, it's this way. Oh, that's okay. That's oh, good. Right, okay. Isn't that the same way? Well, it's, it's a shortcut that way. But anyway, you know. Oh no, that's right. I was thinking. Know, I'm go- no, I'm going the wrong direction. Gordon. You've been here. No, no. For how many years? I'm going the wrong direction. How many years you've been here? That's why you were asking me why. What was the shortest route here? What did you say? Eighty. I've been here thirty-nine years. Right. So I've been here fifty-one. 40 next one. So that obviously. But I've been more experienced to know that that left turn yes, there it's, it's is shortcut. quicker. But I thought we were turning this right way. here. Well, why? That's because going to I degree. was going to Catacall for some reason. I don't even know why. I just decided oh, that. Just as a part of what I had a gentleman, um, <laughs> probably one of the tallest gentlemen I've ever had, uh-huh. on a Segway, yeah. and he was getting married. Um, I think it was yesterday right. at degree. Degree. Yep. Oh, the Dougley Boathouse thing. Yeah. That's so what he was married, getting married, it? and he was from America. Right. He was getting married along there, so that was nice. For a guy. Well, and um, well, getting married or getting married <laughs> at Dougley. <laughs> the boathouse is nice. Um, it is. Uh, I've yeah. never been in it since it was done. Married nowadays. So there you are, Dave. See, would have come that, out that's there. Where I that's the road we would have come out. Yeah, the shortcut. If I were going the right direction, would have saved you about twenty p in petrol. Well, only ten. This is seventy miles a gallon in this car. It's a good right, car. Okay, 10p then. It's rubbish. I did, I did the plans for that house. I drew that plans for that left-hand house with the balcony. It used to be a surveyor in Ireland, and yeah. I actually designed that house. And it was up for sale recently, probably because the house was so terrible, because some idiot that designed looks, it. That looks like a bunch of yellow ambulances, doesn't it? Yeah, coming up. We're coming up to Macriterium. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, you've been here. 39, what did you say? 39 years? 40 years next 40 month. 40 years. Next month. And you still need to remind that that's my Club and room. I think you'll find yeah. it. With oh. what I thought was yellow ambulances, but they're not. The campers. Yeah. Well, I thought maybe somebody there. had an accident. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, there's the yellow. Yeah. The banana mobiles. And the tennis court that I don't know if any ever plays on it anymore. Oh, I didn't even know there was a tennis court in there. Yeah, 39 years. See, I've been here 51. That's why I know that. Right, well, do that next time then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play tennis. <laughs> no, I'm rubbish. <laughs> Last time I played tennis, the tennis rackets were made of wood. Right, and you broke them. Well, I believe they've changed from wood to carbon fibre or something yeah, since then. Yeah, I have, yeah. Yes. I've never played with a wooden one. You had a Schlesinger. 
Yeah, I had a... Uh, with nylon strings. Yeah, and it was a good racket. Hard. I think they're even bigger nowadays. Because I'm, I'm sure it was quite a small thing, a tennis racket, and I see them playing at Wimbledon. Yeah, like they're a lot bigger. Massive. Yeah, they're a lot bigger now, bigger heads. You can't miss. Well, yeah. <laughs> you well, might not miss the harder. ball so much, but... <laughs> You miss the shots more, <laughs> actually putting them in the right place. We only had a yeah. small racket and a big bit of wood and it would just clank well, off the... My mum and dad used to play tennis a lot and they had their own rackets and there were wooden ones and they had the, they had wooden frame covers with screws. Yeah, and that's right. All that and I I've still that. got one of them and they used to play regularly with them. I had the wooden frame covers with the screws and I've yep. forgotten about that. Gosh, that's right. Dave. That was in the days of Nastasi and Borg and McEnroe. Yep. And this is the talk to some of the male players. You had um, Chris Ever and uh, Navratilova. And you cannot Eve, be serious, Dave. Yvonne Gulagong. You cannot be serious. You cannot be shit. <laughs> and they had character Connors. <laughs> Connors. Nasazi. Really? Why are we talking about? See, this Mac is what we're meant to be talking about. We're talking about. Oh, it's Aaron, all right. Aaron. Just, yeah, we're not talking about Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're letting the camera do the talking. Macri, Macri we're letting the camera do the talking. Anyway, so I go somewhere quieter. Yes. I would actually like to like go somewhere very, very quiet, like somewhere where you're completely isolated, even just for a few months. You know, right. like that Ben Fogel's Castaway program where he got famous from. Oh, Macri Standing Stones. Macri Stone Circle yeah. car park in there. But we don't want to take. We don't want to go there. No. <laughs> has anyone guessed where we're going yet? That's right, have there's anyone? <laughs> do, do I even know? I think you'll find I don't. <laughs> I went the wrong direction. And see on the right here, Dave, this yes. little old house I thought would be fantastic to yep. be renovated yep. into a wee steading. Right. I mean, what a place, look. What a place. I always think every time I pass it, yeah. develop that into a steading. Yeah. Amazing. What a few. Oh, 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 oh. There's a few potholes there, Gordon. Bouncing about there. That was so. I need to get the tar machine. Uh, did you get that? Well, I think road machine over here. You could do it over there, maybe. Yes, that was a couple of good ones. Um, oh, what I heard, I've just heard on the subject of roads. Yeah. Um, the road is going to be closed from 8 in the morning yeah. um, till 6 o'clock at night uh -huh. for five days over to uh, La Cranza. Is it? They're I closing the whole road for five days. They're closing so the Kildonan Road as well it. in October. Right. The Kildonan Road's closing. I don't know how many days it was, but I saw it yesterday. That's closing. So I'm glad I don't live in La Cranza. Well, yeah, you've got long. At the same as glamping. Can't create away, yeah, glamping. Or on the side of my head. <laughs> no, we'll try and get a picture of it, but there's a lot of glamping just bushes. in there. It's just bushes. It's more potholes to miss out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Uh, one thing I've noticed, the prices of houses are slightly coming down in Iron Lane. There are more houses for sale, almost a hundred houses I looked up yesterday. Right. And there are four or five almost entirely in Lamlash for some reason. Not, I'm not saying anything disparaging about Lamlash of course, but Lamlash seems to be more affordable than the other villages. Right. And they've got several, about five under 200,000. Actually I know the reason why, because Lamlash has got more kind of practical house and White Bay's got massive villas and things like that. Right. White Bay doesn't have to. So you do know where we're going. I'm going to turn here. right up at this sign up here. And then, and then I'm going we to can running, reveal, running like a nutcase. Reveal where we are going. Yep. Oh, big pole. Big pole. Oh, oh. Big pole. Yeah, I'm glad we don't have those <laughs> potholes. I'm glad we've had the road resurfaced because we don't have these potholes. There's the hole. There. Car killers there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> keep my eyes open. Quite blowy. Quite blow away, but it won't Which matter. Just keep the flies away. Yeah, keep the flies. we go. This is where we're going. Okay, so if anyone can see the sign, what was the recording? Get a bit closer. It's quite a busy car park, actually. Oh, yes, a lot of cars in here. Yeah. In fact, we're lucky. Oh, we're getting a space. There's a car full of it. King's Caves. 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 Um Cave. and Reed. Cave. And it's it a lot of parking in here. Busy car park. But the guy's space left. up there, so that's yeah. good. And it's just as well because it's actually. We're needing that space. Well, there's a couple of spaces. Oh, Not that many though. Yeah, that's where I'm going to go. I'm going beside the bongo. The bongo. We've made it, Gordon. <laughs> There's the car park. There's me and Gordon ready to go. Are we ready to go, Gordon? I think so. We're going to do two loops of King's Caves. 
each of them about we think four miles or just over them? No, I I did it walking the other day oh, and yeah. it was exactly just about five k for the. Oh, loose. good. So it's just ten k. Yes. We can do that. <laughs> Let's get going. We'll put the camera back on. We get to a good view. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Over now. Okay, so I'm at the car park. We've just got out of the car basically at King's Caves. Here we go. Oh, something on my leg. Uh -huh. Of course, there's no surprise that there's bees on my leg because we've got a ground bees nest in front of me and the whole ground is alive with bees. I don't know if you can see them. Try and hold this camera still. That's incredible numbers of bees here. I mean, talking massive. Thousands. Um, we'll try and zoom in a bit so you can see. Kind of frightening a little bit to be honest. There's so many bees. Can you see them? Can you hear them? They're everywhere in this grass. I mean absolutely everywhere. We're standing on a ground there's a the nest there. See that? Right there, Gordon. That's it. There's the queen. There's the nest. Gosh, there's millions in there. Look at a bee's nest. We're standing right at a bee's nest. Gosh. And they're all over there as well. Yeah. I mean, right the way along that bank, and the entire bank is swarming with bees, Gordon. Look at that. Yeah, you can, you can, you can Do you know why I think they're there? Because it's the queen. Well, I can't see. That's why. Gosh, Gordon. There's more, hundreds of them just on that leaf. No. There are. Lots Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they might be called minor bees. Minor bees. They, they nest in but the it is ground. a bee's nest. We're standing right at a bee's nest and the whole ground is alive with bees. And all of that over there, thousands and thousands of bees over there, I don't even dare get the close to that. Down towards King's Caves on the beach. A few people here. Hey! <laughs> nice doggy! <laughs> Windy, but it's behind us, so that's good. Going right up to the cave entrance. Up the staggery stones. We've run all the way here till now. There we go. Okay, that'll do. On we go through the tunnel. <laughs> tunnel of doom. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, 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 goodbye. <laughs> And another little tunnel. Right. Yep. Hello, oh, hey. Thank you. Hello there. Thanks very much. <laughs> Hello, mate. Yeah. So we've done it. We've done two circuits, and you were just saying, I wonder how many people have gone round it one way, and then back to the way. car, and then back round it again the other way, which is what we've done. It was quite muddy in the muddy bit, wasn't it? Um, we had to walk bits over it because we'd just gone flying, man. It was like a mudslide, wasn't it? But we did it. And the knees, oh. the knees held out. Both of our knees were slightly dodgy, but then I think that's just the way things are. The car park's still packed. The car park is still packed. So In fact, we'll have a look. It's even got a sign here about Ard Bain, Aaron's Explosive Volcano. From 60 million years ago. That's just after the dinosaurs. Is that when the dinosaurs disappeared? 66 million years ago for dinosaurs, it's wasn't it? Save aware of old runners. And old fossilised dinosaurs. Yeah, old fossils. It does mention old fossils in here. I'm not sure which which thing they were referring to. <laughs> <laughs> I think it probably were. I'm going to have a look and see if the bees are still there. Have a look at them. Yeah. Lots of bees, not as many as there were before, but yeah, still a lot of them. So yeah, I was going to say, Gordon, you were meant to remind me about something, but you didn't. Bus pass. Right, so, 
Next year is my bus pass year. Yes. I get a bus pass at the end of yeah. next year. Yeah. Um, and so does Beanie Bean Sprout. Uh, Mike Miller, Beanie Bean Sprout, he gets a bus pass as well. So I said to him, Mike, I was thinking about doing my shopping in the co-op just in my underpants to celebrate getting a bus pass. And I have been thinking about that for a while. And um, he says, uh, I'll probably do that with you. And we started thinking, well, what would we do if better than that if it was anything? And we thought of it. We would run up goat fell in our underpants in the middle of summer, so you know, it's not dangerous on a beautiful sunny day. Just get our underpants and our running shoes, running shoes as well, and run up goat fell and back down no. in the, with our bus pass in our hand and our underpants on our bodies. What kind of underpants are you talking about? Anything you like, Boxes? mate. It could be any or underpants. I'm thinking I've got, I'm going to have Scottish saltire underpants. Or but it could be Dennis the Menace. Kangas. It could be Dennis the Menace underpants. Kangas. I quite fancy Dennis the Menace the underpants to be honest. My fronts. Could be my fronts. <laughs> yes, Kangas. That's right. Tanga, oh, tang Kangas. Tangas. Sorry. Tangas. There's no Fantas. Kangas. Kangas. <laughs> I'm no expert. But what about a mankini? A mankini? <laughs> That's possible. Don't give me ideas. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm giving you an official invitation to that then, so but I will have my it doesn't matter, pass. because I get mine at the end of next year, and Beanie Bean Sprout gets his at the beginning of next year, so mine will be forthcoming at that point, but I won't actually have it, and neither will you. We'd just, you'd be 58, I'd be 59, and he'd be 60. We'd be the Boss Pass Mountaineers. What do you say? I don't think I'd get as much Enjoyment? out of it if I still had two years. Till I, got, I don't know, I just don't quite think, you know, I think if you're getting it, that year that you do it. Yeah, then wait till we've all got it. But, but you're, you're too young. We wait. I know, well. We'll have to do it every year and just slowly add to the collection. We'll do it. So the first person. I'll do it for the Beanie. Becomes Beanie Beanie's do next year, so I'm going to do it next year with Beanie. Right. We're old enough. I'm 50. I'm almost there, mate. I'm going to celebrate Beanie's bus pass and my impending bu impending doom, as they say in, in, uh, in, in lifeguard in terminology, because. If you've got a, a feeling attack. of impending doom, you're having a heart attack. Having a heart attack. Yeah. That's one of the, the things they ask you. Have you got a feeling of impending doom? Yes, I really have. Oh, okay, but that case, you're probably in a lot of trouble. Um, don't do anything strenuous. <laughs> okay, so impending bus fastness. So think about that. That's all right. Nah, maybe well, not, you make decide right now. Up no, goat fell in your underpants. You've never done that before. Tell me you haven't. No. Right, thank God for that. You're not a lunatic. Okay, we'll have a talk about that another time. There's a bit of a difference in physiques between you. You've me got a lot of time. Beanie. I've got a lot of time to have you any physique you like. You get. Plus, you know. they do make different sizes of underpants, I believe. <laughs> they, they have got one size fits all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll do for today, I think. Yes. Okay. Before we. We can think about that. Talk we'll talk about it. that another time. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, Dennis the Menace and Gordon the Gopher. Dennis the Menace on underpants. Dennis the Menace. I'm thinking about a Nasher. If he's allowed Nasher anymore. And uh, over and out. Till next time. I could maybe get Gordon the Gopher underpants. You could. As in. Yeah, that'd be good actually. Printed on them like Gordon the Gopher from yeah, that. I think so. And Jeff the Dave. Yeah, I think so. And Beanie the Bean Sprout. Okay. Okay, <laughs> over and out. Over and out.